Things have continued to get worse for Kodak Black behind bars. After some new updates have been revealed about his situation, things have been very serious for him and right now it has Kodak Black crying out for help and we will show you why in today's video so stay tuned you will not want to miss what we have to show you. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of Kodak Black and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, Kodak Black was once the most talked about name in the rap industry. He released his first project in 2013 and his career instantly took off after that. He entered the rap game very quickly and he accomplished a lot in a short amount of time and he earned himself a huge fan base along the way. But now, as many of you know, Kodak Black's career has been put on hold lately due to him being constantly locked up and overall he has just been in a constant downward spiral in his personal life and with his career. Right now he is still in prison serving his four year sentence and if you have kept up with Kodak's situation then you know that things behind bars have been extremely bad for him since being locked up. For those that don't know just a quick update, when Kodak Black was first locked up he basically went public on his Instagram and he claimed that a lot was happening to him behind bars. He claimed that the prison guards were mistreating him and making it miserable for him. He made it basically a lot of accusations claiming that his life has been a living hell due to beatings at the hand of guards, mental abuse, and religious suppression. He claimed that the guards put a gang beating on him after he arrived. He also claimed that he has been punished and mistreated routinely as well as denied any medical attention. There were a few other claims, a little more unusual. Also, after Kodak said that he was denied the use of bathrooms, so he had to go on himself. Also, he accused the guards of placing him on his knees, execution style, in just his underwear soaking wet, which he claimed caused him emotional distress and humiliation. There were a few other claims also, but you basically get the picture. He's claiming a lot that he has been mistreated in a lot of ways. Many people did not believe Kodak about this at first. They just thought that he was either trying to get attention or sympathy due to him being locked up once again. Either way it goes, if you believe him or not, it doesn't seem like things have been normal for him behind bars. He has been locked up many times before and this is the first time that he's making any of these claims. For a while now, everything on this situation was quiet. No new news or no new updates from Kodak were really revealed lately until now after some new updates have finally hit the light. And again, it seems that Kodak is crying out for help after it was recently revealed that he is suing to be moved to a lower security prison, plus he wants damages and his legal fees covered. To add to this also, Kodak Black has decided to ask President Trump for help after he begged him to commute his prison sentence, which means he's asking him to be set free. Apparently, Kodak made a long list of reasons why Trump should let him out, which obviously included everything that I just listed that he said was happening to him, un being unfairly treated and harshly punished, as well as the claims of him being set up and drugged. But he also added that the average sentence behind bars for his federal gun case is 18 months, but he got 46 months. In my opinion, comments like this do not help Kodak's situation because you cannot compare your sentence to someone else's, especially when you have a long criminal history. But either way it goes, Kodak and his attorney truly believe that Kodak has had his constitutional rights violated and he believes that he should be set free, which is why he turned to Donald Trump for help, which in my opinion, I think it's pretty obvious that Donald Trump is not going to make this a priority whatsoever, especially now. There's already so much going on and it doesn't really seem like Donald Trump is really going to respond to this, which is my opinion, but obviously that's most likely what's going to happen. So hopefully all he has to bank on is him suing and hopefully winning that, which will put him in a lower security prison if he does win. As of now though, there has been no response from the Federal Bureau of Prisons, so we don't know how or when things are going to start unfolding as far as him suing, but still the fact is. Things behind bars do not look good for Kodak. They don't seem to be getting any better. And right now, it seems like this has been his most difficult sentence by far. There are still many speculations that Kodak is exaggerating or even making most of this up just to make his conditions better. But as far as we know, he could be telling the truth. And if he is telling the truth about everything, then he really has had it bad. And he obviously does probably need some help. One thing that is a little confusing now that all of this has came to the light is that in June, 
Kodak did hop on Instagram to announce an upcoming release called Vultures Cry 2, and he revealed that he's got more music in the vault. We don't know if Vultures Cry 2 is a song or an album, but he did say that he has that coming. But what's confusing about that is that he gave his fans an update on his prison sentence as well, saying that he's expected to be home real soon. This could have been from hope that his attorney gave him, or it could have been just him assuming that maybe him reaching out or suing would help him get out. Either way it goes, we do know for sure that he's still locked up. So, so far the update of him coming home real soon has not came to the light. All we can do for now is just wait for more updates on his situation, and if you're a Kodak fan, all you can do is hope for the best. With that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know your opinion on this entire situation. Do you think that Kodak Black is exaggerating or do you really think that life behind bars is exactly how he's describing it? Because if it is, that would actually be insane in my opinion. But I do want to know what everyone thinks about this. Do you think he's lying or do you actually believe him? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of Kodak Black. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media. See you in the next one.